Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm gonna show you a really damn good video that's gonna give you the possibility to buy us mod any damn card in the world. It is the universal BIOS mod rule. So the RX 470s, 480s, RX 570s, 580s, 4GB, 8GB, it doesn't matter which brand it is, MSI, Asus, XFX and so on. It's gonna be for Alpida, Hynix, Samsung and a little bit of Micron. It's the really basic BIOS mod rule that you can apply to any of these for the 4 and 8 gigabyte versions. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna explain the basic BIOS mod rule, really simple for 4GB and 8GB memories before I start the video, because there's gonna be some people that already know how to BIOS mod their cards, but just don't know which timing straps they need to copy on which version of memory. So if your card is a 4GB memory version, you need to copy the 1500 strap to all above. So that means the 1500 strap to 1625, 1750 and 2000. And if you have an 8GB memory version, you only need to copy the 1750 strap to the 2000 strap. But if you really don't know what I'm talking about over here, this was just for the people that already know this, how to BIOS mod their cards, you need to continue on watching the video. Okay, so the next step is downloading TechPowerUp GPU-Z. I will put all the links in the description below that you will need for this video. And you will need to download it and install it onto your computer. And then we can continue on using this program. Okay, so now that's installed, you will see a lot of things and you maybe think, okay, what the hell is all this? Well, I'm gonna make it really simple today. We don't need to know the name of the card, that doesn't matter. It should be 470, 480, 570 or 580 of course because otherwise you wouldn't be here on this video. But the only thing we need to know today is our memory type and memory size. So this card is an 8GB version Samsung memory. So we are able to do a BIOS mod on this card pretty easily. And if you have Alpida, Hynix or Samsung, this video is gonna apply for you 100%. But if you have Micron memory, I'm gonna tell you, you only have 50% chance that this one is gonna to work too for Micron because there is a Polaris BIOS mod editor that's gonna be the next step that's gonna explain that the Micron is gonna work or not. So the only thing you need to remember is the eight gigabyte version. And if you have multiple cards, you can also select it in the left bottom over here to check their memory types and memory sizes. But you should already know your memory sizes because that's always displayed on your box when you buy it. It's going to be a 4GB or 8GB version, of course. Okay, so the next step in Tech Power Up GPU-Z is saving your BIOS. So it's going to save the BIOS of this card that's currently on here. If I want to save the other BIOS, I have to switch it, of course. So it's going to be different for every card. But I'm going to show you some examples in just a minute too. So you will have to save the BIOS and save to file. I recommend you putting it somewhere where you will remember where you put it because that will make it way easier in the later video. So first of all, naming your BIOS ROMs is pretty hard. So I'm going to give you a small guide on how to do this. So first of all, I always start with original because this is going to be the original BIOS and we're not going to BIOS mod the original one. Always save your original BIOS mods. It's really the thing you need to do. So original Sapphire I mostly shorten it by Seth and then I'm gonna call it the 470 because it's an RX 470 and it's an 8 gigabyte version also one easy thing to do is giving the memory type name behind it and I just call it Samsung because this is the Samsung memory and then you're gonna save it so now it's saved in our documents but we're gonna save it once more and we're gonna call it modded Sapphire RX 470 Samsung so when you save the modded one you know like okay I need to edit the modded one and the original is just gonna stick with the original file so now that we have both files and I'm gonna show you a few more things of BIOS mods for way more cards then we're gonna continue on with the video okay so I'm actually showing you here that I'm saving the BIOS mods of different cards like the Sapphire Alpida version, ARX 470 Sapphire Hynix version. I'm even going to show you how to BIOS mod RX 470 4GB ASUS cards with Alpida, Hynix, Samsung. 
it doesn't really matter what card you have, what memory type you have. At least if you have Samsung, Alpina and Hynix, it's not a big deal. But if you have just every single card in the world, this basic BIOS mod is going to work on all of them. So you just have to look to if it's a 4 or 8 gigabyte version. It's, it's not that hard as people think. And that's what I'm trying to prove today. Okay, so now we have arrived at the Polaris BIOS editor step. This is the most important step of everything because here is where the magic happens. We can BIOS mod our mod ROMs right here. So this program is the thing that does everything with the strap timings and whatsoever. So I'm going to explain it really quickly for a 4 and 8 gigabyte version, how to BIOS mod them by applying our rule. And then I'm going to explain you a little bit more because there's a lot of things to tell about Polaris BIOS Editor because many people have changed this program lately to do some really cool things. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the really easy basics on BIOS modding a 4 and 8 gigabyte version. So first of all, I want to tell you that I am currently using Polaris BIOS Editor 1.4.1 and that's also included into the mega files over here. But if you notice that your timings are totally off, it's going to be like in the millions instead of 1500, 1600 and so on. You need to try different versions. Um, I know this one over here is for RX 500 series and the one above over here supports Micron and Alpida memory types so you can read it from there. So just try out every single one if the timings are off and eventually you will get some decent timings and then you can continue on with the video. Okay so first of all I'm going to show you how to BIOS mod 4GB memory for your GPU. So if you follow the basic rule as I already said in the beginning of the video, we have to copy the 1500 strap to all above. So I'm going to show you this, but first of all, you need to right click Polaris BIOS editor and run it as administrator. It's going to ask you to do it. It's going to tell you that it's pretty dangerous to do BIOS mods, but we're just going to press OK. So what are we going to do here? I'm going to do two steps at once. So I'm going to explain you really shortly when you open your uh, BIOS mod rom that you want to buy as mod for example i'm going to use the asus lpda 474 gigabyte rom we're going to open it and if your timings just totally look off the grid like totally random numbers and whatsoever your your bios polaris editor is the wrong version so you need to change versions until you see these kind of timings like 0 1500 and so on so just keep on getting a different Polaris BIOS editor until you find the one that can read your timings. That's the only thing you need to do here on your own. It's totally different for every GPU and probably, as I just said, there are a few versions that I know of will handle those kind of cards like the RX 500 series. So let's get on with the timing value over here. So as I just said, we need to copy the 1500 strap to all above straps over here. So it's pretty simple. You need to click in the middle or whatsoever and just press Ctrl A to select the whole string in one go. A lot of people just start doing th stuff like this. I'm going to show it right here. They're going to start in the beginning over here and they're just going to try and drag all the way to the back. But sometimes you forget one number in the front of the back and the whole strap is going to destroy your GPU. So what I recommend is just Ctrl A it and it's going to going to select everything of it and just Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl A on the next one, Ctrl V, Ctrl A, Ctrl V, Ctrl A, Ctrl V. And now you are sure that every single strap is the same. And also one good thing is just to put them back to the front, just drag it to the front over here and then you know that your straps are all the same. So what are we going to do here? is we're not going to ch change TDP values and whatsoever. I really don't want that because it's perfectly fine for me and the card is already running pretty sufficiently if you just copy the 1500 strap to all above. So if you want to do some more BIOS modding over here, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just explaining you to the basic BIOS mod rule so to make it simple. So now we're going to just save as above here and just save it into the modded Asus Alpida for 74 GB ROM and just hit save. It's going to ask you to replace, just hit yes. And now you know how to BIOS mod every single 4 GB memory. 
I'm gonna show you one more over here. I'm gonna take out the Samsung, uh, the Sapphire Alpida version, and we're gonna see how this one is. So this is the Samsung version over here. It just looks exactly the same because it has Alpida support as well. We're gonna go ahead and control A, the whole string over here of the 1500 strap, and control A, V, control A, V, control A, V, there we go. Now we're gonna drag it all back to the front like so and like so and now we're gonna save it again as our samsung Alpida version save it up hit yes and there you go now we just bios modded two Alpida bios mods with the simple basic rule and if you just load it into your card it's just gonna work totally fine so let's move on to the eight gigabyte version so the eight gigabyte version is even simpler than a 4 gigabyte version because you only need to copy one timing and replace one timing. So we're going to open the BIOS of a 8 gigabyte version and that's going to be the modded Sapphire for 78 gigabyte Samsung memory. We're going to open it up. So we already BIOS modded a few different types over here. So what do we have to do here? You can see that the timings are slightly different because on the 4 gigabyte version the timing start with 7 on the 1600 strap and 1500 strap as you can see here it starts with 555 so that's the difference with 8 gigabyte versions so what do we have to do over here we just have to control a the 1750 strap we can copy it over here control a control v and there we go we're gonna go and put it back on here uh, into the beginning now that, that we copy the 1750 strap to the 2000 strap we're already done with BIOS modding a 8 gigabyte version. So that's just absolutely crazy how easy it is to BIOS mod cards if you know the basic rule. So now we're gonna save it again. We're gonna save it as a 478 gigabyte Samsung. Save it up, replace it, and that one's done too. So now I'm gonna show you a little trick. We also have the new RX 500 series and I'm going to try to open it into this BIOS mod editor. And as you can see here, it's a Sapphire Pulse 574GB. It's an Alpida version. So it's already a new Alpida version for the newest cards. So if we're going to try and open this, you will see that the timing values are just totally gone. Because this Polaris BIOS editor does not support the new RX 500 series. So what did I say in the beginning? There are different kinds of Polaris BIOS editors available. So what are we going to do here? We're just going to close off this Polaris BIOS editor and we're going to my Polaris BIOS editor RX 500 series. So this one is also edited by someone and I really can't remember his name. Um, he did not put his name behind it, but it's already edited and we're going to open up the RX 570 file again. And as you see here, Thanks to that guy, we are able to see the timings of our 570 Alpida Sapphire Pearls card. And that's so amazing that we can see it over here. But it's just exactly the same as for the other 4 gigabyte versions. We just need to copy the 1500 strap to all above. So now you can even buy us mod RX 500 series cards. So what are we going to do here? We're going to copy by Ctrl A the 1500 strap, Ctrl C to copy it. Control A, Control V, Control A, Control V, Control A, Control V. There we go. We're going to put it all back to the front over here. And then you're done BIOS modding the brand new RX 570 series. With Alpida memory, it doesn't even matter anymore. And if you're really lucky, one of these Polaris BIOS editors, I'm not really sure because I don't have Micron memory, a few of my subscribers uh, said that it can even BIOS mod their Micron cards, so that's pretty crazy too. So if you're lucky, your Micron card is supported in one of these Polaris BIOS editors. So now we're gonna save it, and we're gonna save the Sapphire Pulse BIOS ROM. There we go. So now we only need to do one more step, and that's called the ADI Flash. Okay, so the next step is pretty easily, you will need ADI Flash. So it will come into a RAR file, I'm gonna show you really sh shortly how to do it. So you want to extract the files and just put it right into your C drive. For me it's gonna ask me to replace everything because it's already uh, into my drive. So what I'm gonna do here is open up ADI Flash and you will see that it's 
pretty easy and not too much information that you need to know but i give you some tips to modded bias that you want just drag it into the file as well so i dragged in my modded sapphire samsung rom because that will make it easier for you so what you have to do here is just right click your adi winflash.exe and run it as administrator so it will take a while to start up but eventually the program will start up as you can see over here and you have the option to select between your cards if you have more than two cards it's going to be so big that it won't fit into the box so i would recommend you using the command line with command prompt in your windows but i will put it in the description so you know how to do that if you want to do it manually but for now i'm just going to show it into this one and you can select the card you want to flash over here and i'm going to flash the top one and i'm going to choose load image and there you see why i put my modded rom inside the adi flash folder and just open it up and hit program and then it will start programming your gpu it will ask you to restart your computer or it will immediately restart your computer that's why i'm not doing it right now but that's the only thing you need to do your modded rom is loaded and your computer will restart so this is the only thing you needed to do to bios mod every card that's available and if you still have questions i would recommend you going to our discord chat it's also in the description the link so you can ask people to help you out but hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot from it and just remember the basic rule. That's all you need to know. So please subscribe because this video took a really long time to make and hopefully you all enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.